Hello, I'm Dr. David Velkoff, the medical director of the Drake Institute of Neurophysical Medicine. Today, I want to clear up and clarify the common misunderstanding that you must automatically medicate your child if they have been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD. Even if your child has great difficulty focusing in school or on homework, sitting still or being impulsive, that does not necessarily mean that they need to take prescription medication to do well in their life. In fact, there is an alternative and a much better option for treating ADHD that does not require any drugs at all. So the question I'll answer in this video is, can ADHD be treated successfully without drugs? The answer is overwhelmingly yes. Non-drug treatment of ADHD discussed in this video is not only possible, but preferable to drug-based treatments because it leads to better clinical, long-lasting improvements. Parents reach out to me all the time to ask how they can manage or control ADHD symptoms without the use of prescription drugs. As a physician, I can prescribe medication, and I support medication usage for many medical conditions. And I, I respect parents who medicated their child for ADHD in trying to help them have better lives. But I choose not to prescribe drugs for ADHD because I have learned and been trained in a more effective preferred ADHD treatment option without drugs or medication. It is brain map guided neurofeedback treatment, which can achieve lasting improvement without the risk of unwanted side effects of common ADHD drugs. In brain map guided neurofeedback, we are not only treating attention deficit disorder without medication, but we are enabling children and adults to transform their lives. Irrespective of intelligence, children with ADHD have abnormal brainwave activity that causes their symptoms. The child with ADHD has never had the experience of normal brain regulation or functioning. As a result, they have no memory or reference point of normal brain regulation to utilize. Before initiating neurofeedback, we must first perform a QEEG brain map to identify and understand where and how the brain is dysregulated linked to the patient's symptoms. This is a brain map of an ADHD child. It is basically a blueprint of how to help the child. The green color is normal brain functioning. The orange color in the frontal region of the brain shows excessive alpha brainwave activity, which reflects the brain is in an underactivated state, which causes a lack of focus. You cannot effectively do homework in this state. This is again analogous to a car engine stuck in low idling. So the car is unable to rev up to full power, regardless of how much horsepower the engine has. The child's frontal lobe is essentially offline. This is causing his symptoms, but now the exciting part is that if the patient can see the results of what their brain is doing, then through auditory and visual feedback, the patient can modify or change its activity into a healthier, more optimally functioning pattern, which of course reduces symptoms. We utilize the most advanced neurofeedback technology to enable the patient to achieve this. An individualized treatment protocol is created for each patient based on brain map findings linked to symptoms in order to develop improved brain functioning. Sensors on the head record instantaneous brainwave activity and display them on a computer screen in the form of a video game that their brain activity controls. In this example, the race car speeds up when the patient is producing faster brainwave activity necessary for focusing. Every moment, the brain starts shifting to a more normal, optimal functioning pattern, they see a new point show up on the screen and an auditory tone goes off. This auditory visual feedback is telling the brain when it is shifting into the desired direction for improved brain functioning, for focus and being calm. For the first time, the patient is experiencing and creating a new memory of healthier, optimal brain functioning. You can increase the size and number of synaptic connections in the brain. 
the patient is now literally in the driver's seat in training their brain to regulate better. Chemicals or drugs in the brain do not teach the brain how to regulate better. With neurofeedback, the patient is creating their own brain regulation improvement using their brain's own resources through neuroplasticity, and the imp improvements typically can be long-lasting. In contrast, drug treatments can only temporarily suppress symptoms until the drugs wear off and then the brain defaults back to the abnormal pattern. Drugs should be the last option for treating ADHD if necessary. In sum, this ADHD treatment option without drugs or medication of brain map guided neurofeedback is much more than simply an ADHD alternative treatment. It is our primary treatment for ADHD since it can enable the patient to achieve long lasting improvements in focus, emotional and behavioral regulation without the side effects of drugs. We have had the gratification of facilitating and seeing these clinical successes in patients for over 30 years. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. There are more informational videos coming soon. If you have questions about the non-drug treatment of ADHD discussed in this video, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.